I have assembled part of the components just to check if the PLL is working. We have here the power supply components, the 3.3 volt regulator, the microcontroller and the PLL itself, the MAX 2871. I programmed the microcontroller to configure the PLL to output 5 GHz divided by 128 which is 39.0625 MHz and the reference frequency is 20 MHz which is supplied by this generator over here 20 MHz 0 dBm here we have the power supply 5 volts uh, it's off and uh, now I will turn the power supply on and now we can see that the LED is lit meaning that the PLL is locked and I will now measure the output frequency that can be seen in this counter over here. You see there 39.0625 as expected. Here is the assembled 16 gigahertz local oscillator. Let me take the lid now so you can see inside. It's similar to the 10 GHz local oscillator shown in another video. Here we have the MAX 2871. Uh, the reference frequency can be uh, 10 or 100 MHz and can, can be chosen uh, with this uh, jumper here. The output of the MAX2871 is 4 GHz and here we have a uh, quadrupler, the HMC 370L. So at the output we have 16 GHz and here we have the final amplifier. And I expect having here the output around plus 10 dBm. Okay, let's check now the performance of the 16 GHz local oscillator. Here in the setup we have two adapters. These are uh, high quality adapters for 26.5 GHz and the loss is uh, 0.2 dB in each at 16 GHz, so 0.4 dB total. Here we have the reference frequency, it's 10 MHz. Let's check the frequency on this counter over here. Okay, you can see there 10 MHz. Now Focus the screen of the spectrum analyzer and turn the power on. You can see here we have 16 gigahertz, 9 dBm plus 0.4, it's 9.4 dBm. So pretty close to the 10 uh, dBm I was expecting. Let's now analyze some artifacts produced by the quadrupler. They are in fact harmonics of the input signal as we can see here in the 
HMC370L uh, datasheet. In this case, the output is 15 gigahertz, and we can see here the fundamental 3.75 gigahertz. The second harmon, the third, the fourth, it's the one we we want, the fifth, and the sixth. Now, let's see our circuit. Let me turn the power on. Here we have the fundamental 16 gigahertz this is the second harmonic of the input which is uh, 2021 dbc this is the third harmonic about 28 dbc and uh, well i i could have used it the instead of the quadruple the LMX2595 this uh, component can go up to 20 gigahertz but we they are not available in the market and it will cost me around 120 US dollars <laughs> 